I'm like waiting for people to come in. No bond. And I cut my hair too. It's short. <laughs> okay. The thing is. So I'm actually going to explain because, okay. So today I had a hair appointment, right? I'm going to explain this whole thing because it actually, I was really upset earlier. I was like, I was like crying and everything. Like I was really upset earlier about this. Okay. So basically I had an appointment to go get my hair dyed. And I was not trying to dye my hair black. Like, not trying to dye my hair black. Um, I'm actually going to show you guys. Okay, because I have been freaking out over this, like, all night since I got it done. So, I have been DMing this guy. And I went in to go get my hair done today. And we're, like, talking, having a consultation, and I told him I want to go, like, dark brown, like, this color. I'm using Daisy's hair. I love it. Like, I wanted to go, like, dark, dark brown, but not black. So, this was my inspo pick. You can't really tell on this camera, actually, but it's, like... I have, like, this privacy screen. Anyways, it's, like, a, it's like a dark chocolate brown. I don't know if you can really tell, but see, it's like chocolate brown. So that was my inspo pick, okay? And he was like, I feel like that's actually too dark. I feel like you should go one shade lighter. Um, so I was like, okay, cool. And he was like, a level four. So I looked up level fours, and I was like, oh, like this hair. I'm cool with that. Like, okay. Like, I'm cool with that. So I'm getting my hair done and when the dye got put on I noticed it was like really dark but you know a lot of the times the dye is really dark so I just thought like okay it's not that serious it's just like the dye is dark anyways get to the to wash my hair out she's like washing my hair out she's like it's still pretty light like I'm gonna put another coat on puts another coat on I'm like okay whatever she, like I get it washed I go back to like get it dried and I noticed it was like black and I was like this is black and so I I went to go refill my meter whatever I came back and I was like I feel like it looks really dark and she's like no it's just wet like once I blow dry it it'll like get lighter and I was like okay cool she's like blow drying it I'm like I don't know I'm not feeling good so she's like here I'll blow dry the front so you can see it she blows dries it. I'm like, girl, this is black. Like, this is not. And I was like, I think it's really dark. She's like, no, let's go out in the sunlight and we can look in the sun. And I feel really bad. This lady was like really, really nice, guys. Like, she was really nice. And I am not the person to even speak up. Like, I never speak up when someone does something wrong. Like, I'm the type of person, like, you could fuck up my nails. Like, you can fuck up anything and I will just leave and I won't say anything and I'll just, like, fix it on my own. But. I was really, really upset because I've been going lighter for months, bleaching my hair, and I did not want to go black. Like, I was trying to go dark brown because I didn't want to go black because I knew once I decided to go back black, like, there's no coming back. So, I was like, I want to go dark brown. Ugh. So, um, I'm like, I don't know. I just don't feel good about it. So, we go outside, and she's like, look it's it's brown and she's like pointing to like the reflection of the sunlight on it was like no that's not my hair color that's like the sun like <laughs> you know what I mean like you know when you're you'll like see a slight red in your hair but your hair is like jet black that's like what it was giving and I was like no it's it's definitely black and she's like you think so I'm like yeah it's it's black like let's be real it's black um so we go back in or whatever she finishes it she's like it looks so pretty and I kept telling her like 
I think it looks amazing. You did a great job. It's just not what I asked for. And then, um, so she's still going. And then the cut. And then the cut. I, my hair was down to about right here before she cut it. I asked for about this much off. Um, I couldn't see the back as she was cutting it. Um, so I didn't realize like how much she was cutting off. And she showed me. She was like, oh, like this much. And I was like, it was like this much. I was like, yeah. But this much when your hair's here, it just, it was a lot of fucking hair that hit the ground. So I was like, I was like not even so sad about the length as the color because I, my hair grows really fast. I was like, fuck it. I don't really care. But guys, my hair being black, this is like not what I wanted. And now like I can't go back. So she's like, I mean, we can do a layer of bleach. And I'm like, no, like I walked in here and my hair was fucking like blonde streaks and now it's black like and I was like I just and she's like oh well, when you wash it you know it's gonna come out and I was like I was like I get that but I just wish it was articulated to me because I didn't ask for black hair I didn't want my hair to be black and um I was like I'm just like kind of upset because this isn't what I asked for and I just feel like it should have been articulated to me that like it wasn't going to be the color I asked for. And, like, I showed reference pictures. And this is just not what I asked for. And she was like, oh, well, I didn't see the reference pictures. Guys. So, basically, the guy I had been DMing with. Like, the guy that, like, I'd been DMing with. I had a consultation with. And this is normal, like, at a hair salon. Where, like, the guy, like, I, whatever. And then he'll, like, give me to, like a lady like this used that used to happen with like my old hair salon like my old hair guy like he would he would like have a lady do like the color and everything and then he would cut it and like style it at the end but like another lady would like do it so that's what this was and I figured like he just was like oh she wants this color like this is what she wants apparently he didn't so I was like so what were you doing like you were just like winging it like I'm just confused like what was happening like I'm just confused, like, so you were just like, oh, yeah, she would look good with black hair, like, I'll just give her black, like, I was just like, wait, I'm confused, you never saw a reference picture, like, what do you mean? So I was like, okay, she's like, no, no, it's gonna fade, and I just was like, I understand, it's just communication, like, I didn't, I didn't want this, and I'm just, like, kind of hurt, because now it's black, like, there's nothing I can do, like, it's, it just is what it is. So anyways, like, she finishes it. Everyone in the salon's, like, so pretty. And I feel bad because, like, I'm on the verge of fucking tears, guys. Like, and she's, like, definitely reading my phone. Like, I'm literally texting, like, I'm going to cry. Like, I'm so upset. Like, da 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 Like, this is horrible. Like, I'm so upset. And then I, like, go to pay. And the guy's, like, oh, how is everything? Like, are you happy with everything? And I was, like, honestly, no. And I, guys, I never speak up. Like, I felt so bad speaking up. I just felt, like bitchy or something I don't know I just hate speaking up but I was like I was just like I'm just unhappy like I didn't ask for this hair I came in with reference pictures I even dm'd this guy before coming in saying I wanted dark brown and I showed a reference picture he told me it was completely possible like I just feel like I came in here with like blonde highlights and you dyed my hair black <laughs> you know like that's crazy like and then you were like oh we should bleach it like no I'm literally dyeing my hair dark because I don't want to bleach it and he was like oh and then he like got his boss and mind you the lady kind of like went to the back he was like did you talk to her about it I was like yes and she kind of like disappeared and I was like where did she go and then the guy who I had the consultation with was like, no, like he wasn't in my conversation. And I was just, I don't know. I felt really like left in a bad situation. I was like, wait, like I booked this with you. Like, why are you not over here talking to me? And, and he got his manager and he was like, I have 20 years experience. Like that your hair is not black. Like it's definitely dark, but it's not black.
please. This is fucking black. Like, please. And that's when I started to get kind of upset because I was like, you could literally just be like, oh my god, we're so sorry. Like, but no, they were like, it's not black. Like, it's gonna wash out. I have 20 years of experience. Like, don't worry. Your hair's gonna wash out. Like, it's gonna give it, like, three washes and it'll be that brown. And I'm like, I do believe it'll get lighter, but my hair is black. They're two different tones. Like, like I wanted like a warm chocolate brown. This is black. And she even, she even like mentioned she put like blue in it or something. So I'm like, this is like a blue black. Like it, this is a cool tone. It's, it's not going to wash out to be a dark chocolate. I'm sorry. It's just, it's just not, it's just not. Um, It doesn't, it looks fine. What does it matter? Because I didn't want black hair. That's what it matters. And I paid 300 fucking dollars for something I didn't want because I felt uncomfortable because they were telling me that, they were telling me that it's, that it's not black and all this stuff. And I'm, yes, 300. And I'm hurt. And I'm really hurt because I think it looks good. It's fine. Like, you know, I've had black hair before, so I know it. it's fine and stuff. But I'm just hurt about it. The people were really nice. Like, the lady that did my hair was so sweet. And that's why I felt bad even complaining. Like, I'm not a complainer at all. <laughs> Hello, baby. I'm on stream. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good okay, but don't hang up. Okay. Stop. Okay, don't hang up. Okay, love you. Mute yourself. Um. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not like trying to get on here and talk shit either. Like, not at all. Like, they were really good. They were really sweet. Like, I don't want to like cause problems. Like, I'm not like coming on here to like. My experience with the hair, like, I'm not doing that. I'm just, like, talking about an experience I had today. Um, but I'm not trying to cause problems, so I don't want any problems to occur from it. They were really good. They are really nice. Just wasn't what I asked for. I think it was just a com miscommunication, but it was just a miscommunication, but not on my end, <laughs> which is why it sucks, because I'm the one who got, you know. Granted, like, it looks good if I had asked for this, you know? But yeah, I'm just upset because it was also like such a um, process of like, do I try to go more blonde? Do I go dark brown? Like it was such like an internal like process just for it to end up black. Like just for me to go back right to where I came from. It, it was just like kind of upsetting. Mm -hmm. the gaslighting is what hurt my feelings because I was like y'all can just say like oh we're sorry like and y'all can reassure me like no when you wash your hair it will come out lighter don't worry but like we are sorry that you're not happy with what you got but ga but telling me my hair is not black is crazy like it's literally black and then he said that she mixed a medium brown medium brown come on medium brown this is black <laughs> yeah and then i like walked out and immediately just started sobbing i was so hurt guys And I'm, like, always scared that, like, but I'm never speak up. And, like, a part of me was, like, don't speak up. Like, there's nothing they can do now. Because, like, it's already black. Like, what are they going to do? Bleach it? Like, there was really nothing she could do other than say sorry. I think I just spoke up more so because I was, like, I don't feel like I should pay for a service 
pay full for a service that I don't necessarily think was done correctly. So that's like why I spoke up. But then I ended up paying anyways because I just like felt weird and I felt bad also because like it literally wasn't the lady's fault that did my hair and like she did take time to do it and I just felt bad it like wasn't her fault um I feel like 300 is pretty standard actually in LA unfortunately but yeah that's the thing like that's kind of like also what I was saying like I wouldn't have ever paid $300 just for black hair like I literally have box dyed my hair for fucking years like if I wanted to go black I would literally just have box dyed my hair <laughs> like it, I don't know like it's black is black like I don't need to go somewhere for black hair I'm sorry yeah honestly I don't fucking know I don't fucking know. I think it's cute, though. Like, it is kind of short. Like, I wish it was, like, an inch longer. But I do like the cut. And that's why I feel bad. Because I actually do think she did a great job. Just not for not for what I wanted. But she did do such a great job. And this blowout is so pretty. And I love the layer layering she did. But the other thing is, I felt so bad. I was such on the verge of tears that she asked me, like... Like, when she was done blow-drying, she was like, I'm going to cut a few more layers. And I was like, no, girl. No, girl. Just put, put the scissors down. I'm leaving. I was, like, such on the verge of tears. And I'm honestly so proud of myself for not crying in there. Because I was so stressed. And even when I was, like, telling them that I was unhappy, like, I could feel my voice starting to crack. And I was like, bitch, do not fucking cry. Like, do not fucking cry. And I didn't cry. I didn't tip her, but I did pay her. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm a little upset because it's short, but my hair does grow really fast. And, I mean, I can always get extensions, like, if it's really that serious. I don't think it's that serious. I feel like my hair will be back to that length by next year. And honestly, me, like, validating it. Honestly, I did need to get a trim, like, Bleaching my hair fucked my hair up. Fucked my hair up. And I love when my hair is so long. But sometimes I do, like, think shorter hair. Like, this length is cuter styled. Because when your hair is just too long, it's like you can't really do cute styles. Like, when it's down, it's just long. I, I don't know what it's called. I just asked for layers, and she killed it. And that's why I hate that we had a bad experience, because I would totally go back to her for a cut. Like, she killed the cut. Yeah, the dead ends are definitely gone. And I'm getting Botox in the morning. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye to my expressions. Oh, also, I was also so embarrassed because tell me why. Okay, there we go. It's so much better. Tell me why I was so stressed in there that I was sweating. Like, like my back. Like, <laughs> I was leaned up against the, the chair like this, obviously. And when I leaned forward, I was like, oh my God. I'm definitely leaving like a back sweat mark on this chair. Like I was so fucking stressed that I was like, oh my God, I'm leaving a fucking mark. Like I'm literally leaving a sweat mark on the back of this chair right now. I was like literally like freaking out. It was also like really hot in there. But I was literally sweating and I at one point like I was like went like this and like wiped my back and I was like oh my god so on top of like them thinking I'm a bitch they're also like damn that bitch is fucking sweaty I
But, guys, if we see a, um, a video come out, I did this, this girl's hair in, and she was a bitch. It was probably about me. I wasn't mean, y'all. I was really nice about it. Because I was freaking the fuck out. I couldn't have been mean. I was too anxious. But I feel bad. I've been feeling bad about it. Oh my gosh, I shouldn't have done that. I know, I'm like, I didn't even, I wasn't even mean, I just spoke up. But I'm like, holy shit, that was so mean. Anytime I speak up about anything, like, if I feel like someone was mean to me or, like, anything, like, if I speak up, I'm like, wow, I should not have done that. <laughs> I'm like, wow, I really regret that. I hate making people feel bad, too. It wasn't her fault. And she was so nice. I felt so bad. She was, like, trying to cheer me up. She was like, ew, that was gross. She was like, you look so good. You look so beautiful. I'm like, yes, girl, you killed it. It's just not what I wanted. But you killed it. But you killed it, though. And I'm losing my tan. And my candle came broken. I'm having a hard fucking time. I'm having a hard time. I need to go tanning. Um, so also, I'm so excited. Oh yeah, my expressions. Cause tomorrow, say goodbye to my expressions. I'm like, oh, do you see that light right there? I just got it. Oh, but they did ask me at the salon if I was Brazilian. I was like, okay, you think I'm Brazilian? Okay. Okay. I'll take it. Did I lie and say yes? Honestly, shut up. Yes, girl! No, because they were all Brazilian. They would have, like, they would have literally started trying to speak to me. I would have been like, ah, yes! <laughs> yes! Uh, shut the fuck up. Brazilians are beautiful. What the fuck? Of course I take that as a compliment. That's so funny that you asked me about the lip, Gabrielle lip combo. I actually ordered mine today. Um, what's happening to my expressions while well, I'm getting Botox? I have to have Botox for my B day. Ew. Oh, yeah, it's actually so funny because I was, like, so sad about my hair. I was like, oh, my God, it looks so bad. Like, it doesn't look bad. It's just not what I wanted. But I was like, oh, my God, it looks so bad. And he was like, yeah, like, you wanted, like, um, like chocolatey goddess, not not 2009 Megan Fox. And I was like, oh. Wait. Hmm. Oh, wait a second. You think that's what it's giving? I mean, a win is a win. I have to take my Apple Watch off. Like, it honestly looks so stupid when I put my arms up. 
Guys, these are my real nails. Can you believe that? But they're gone soon. They will be gone soon because um, I have to get my B-Day nails, and these nails are not cutting it. I know. My B-Day is next weekend. I'm not doing a B-Day stream. I'm going to be outside. No. I'm good. Oh my god, I don't know if she's choked. Um, yes, I'm actually going to be having a birthday party and I never have birthday parties because I'm so terrified that no one will show up. So that's why I never have birthday parties, but I am having one this year and I really hope people show up because if they don't, I'm going to be really sad. Spirit, guys, I can be there in spirit. <laughs> you can be there in spirit. I will say though, uh, I'm not right. I need to stop being drama right now. I'm like super drama right now. Okay, I'll say it. I invited, like, okay, so I have, obviously, like, people are coming, but I invited so many people that I actually considered, like, not, like, a friend friend, like, we don't hang, but, like, anytime I see them out, we're, like, party friends, like, always, and I always see them, and, like, we always are DMing, like, we don't hang out, like, like, they don't come over, but, like, I see them out, and we take shots and we like our party friends right so i invited them to my birthday let me just tell you people are fake people are fake It's not just one name, it's a multiple names. But yeah, it's like so weird. I'm like, like a lot of people that I'm like, oh, like I thought we were friends. Mm, red, left on red. I'm like, oh. Okay. Like, damn, you could have at least said, sorry, I'm busy. Damn, bitch. Noted. So rude, right? Yeah, it low-key is embarrassing because I'm like, do you think you're better than me? <laughs> do you think you're better than me or something? Yeah, it's pretty crazy because it's like the people, some of the, it's just crazy. I'm just like, oh.
I'm not watching this. I was watching Love Island. It's just like the next thing that comes on. Um, I would say my frontal lobe has developed. For sure. Um, was it like a click? <laughs> no. I honestly don't know. I just feel like it's definitely developed. Doesn't it develop by the time you're like 25 or something? Yeah, I think it de I think it definitely developed. I think my frontal lobe developed when I was like 23. I feel like I'm just very self-aware. I don't know. I don't know if that's like what it's about, but Yeah. No, I don't have any new tattoos right now. What boyfriend type do? No, I don't. I wear Swix, but I don't really. Eh, I guess I do wear my merch, but not always. Oh, the Jordan one. Tour. Tour what? I'm gonna make more music. Uh. Well, you guys wanted me to go live, but the only thing I had was really to tell you all that story. I'm really scared they're gonna make a mean video of <laughs> Why am I nervous about that? It wasn't even mean. I'm so, I'm such like an anxious fucking. <sighs> like, why? I do not whiten my teeth. Um. I have before though. On my vlogging, my birthday? No. When do I ever vlog? Um, also, definitely not on my birthday. I'm gonna be busy. Um, Love Island review. My Love Island review is. Um, Kayla's annoying. Like, I understand her. I get it. I totally get it. She's also, like, super young. So, I get it. But. She's definitely getting kind of a little irritating to me. And I think she needs to leave that man. I think he likes Rob. And I think that she just gives in too easy. I'm like, girl, after all that, you just immediately fold. Like, be mad at him at least for like two days a day like you already folded um i love leah she's my fave i like to live but i'm i'm not sad she's gone i just felt like she, it was kind of like dragging a little bit and she hasn't found a connection which is sad but i don't know i just feel like it was just kind of like dragging um I like Janae. She's so cute. She's funny. 
Um, who else? Oh, I freaking love Serena and Cordell. I hope they're together forever. I did not like Dea because I felt like she was just ruining my favorite couple. But I felt like Serena deserved it for a second because... No, I don't think she deserved it, but I think she was overreacting a little bit because she did kind of do him dirty a little bit. Like, I get sometimes it takes a while to open up, but you are on Love Island, so, you know. I love Love Island. I haven't been going on runs lately. I kind of started slacking, but I did work out today. But I honestly do need to go on a run. I was on such a good little running thing. I can't go tomorrow because I'm getting well talks, but I'll go the next day. There was this girl at the gym today and her body was so perfect. I was like, I have to leave. I don't want to do a marathon, but I want to do a 10K. What time is it? 10.49? Oh, I must get some rest. But I just wanted to get on and talk for a second. Cool girls don't get Botox. Um, well, I get Botox, so. I'm getting it in my forehead. My forehead's wrinkly. Yeah. I got Botox in my armpits. I feel like it's making me sweat more. But like, in other areas. Like my back. Which is Botox. Everyone's like... Oh my god, don't change yourself. Don't get Botox. I'm like, Botox is not change anything, but make me really good. No, I don't sweat in my armpits, but I sweat, like, other places. Oh, you know. My bad. <laughs> it just makes you not sweat in your armpits. I don't have a nail growth routine. They just be growing. I don't really know. But I'm about to cut them. This one's kind of like, well, she. I think she put too much right here, so it makes it look like, you know what I mean? But yeah, these are my nails. Okay. I get hard gel. I think that's the, the, the way. Because then they're strong. All right, I'll talk to you guys later.